Good morning, my lovelies. It's very bleak. And forecast in about, I think, 45 minutes time. The storm is coming. The storm is coming. Anyway, I thought before that happens, I'm going to meander through my garden. And last night, by the way, I wasn't thinking. And I don't know, I was peeling some pineapple or something. I don't know why I have to touch my new knife that I got. <laughs> I got a new knife and I thought, I don't know. Anyways, we had rain last night. Okay, my coffee is going to get cold again, but this is going to be a short one. Ah, nice. I have to take some plants out from their hiding place because I need to put them in the garden. So these are the ones that I'm going to put in the garden. So this one is a very frost-hardy euphobia. I had this growing outside in my cactus area at the back there, and it has seen a few. I don't know what it's called, but it looks very similar to my euphobia, polygona, so which makes me think that maybe my polygona might be frost hardy as well. But I'm going to take that one out and put it up there. But this one here, I'm going to save here. This very dated one, I'm going to leave that there. Ming Thing, are you frost hardy too? Should I take one of you? Uh, I should leave the smooth one. See, that one is smooth. And that one's got hairs on it. So the hairs probably, the one with the hair, I'm going to put outside in the garden. And this one I leave here. My powder puff cactus is puffing up. Look at that gorgeous one. The sun comes out. Then I think it will open up. Now this one here is most gorgeous sedum. Look. It's got like little fingers. Can you see that one? This one, the tra tetragona. Are you tetragona? It is tetragona. Crassula. So Crassula tetragona, I had a couple of these in my garden before and it died, got killed by the frost. I still got a little bit left though, so it's sort of semi-frost hardy. So I don't know whether they just didn't like the soil that it's in or probably needs a little bit more healthier soil. So this one as well is Crassula atropurpurea. Now this one... I'm putting out there as well because this goes all red and it's about to flower and they multiply like you would not believe. So I started with just one plant. So this one goes purple in summer. So see that purple color in there? The whole plant is just that. It's just so beautiful. Here's a crassula that I got with no name. So I don't know what crassula this is, but it's just gorgeous. So this... I think, why are you like that? Got nibbed on or something. Just wondering if there's that caterpillar again that's gonna, the boring caterpillar, well, uh, the little green worm, I called them. So I have to just check, not nothing. Anyway, I think it might have, look, a little bit. But, Crassulas, oh, see, it did. Oh, okay, see, I told you, where are you? Mr. Worm. <laughs> I kept calling it Worm. <laughs> I don't know why. Are you there still? No. Oh, yes. Are you? Yes. There you go. Die. I'm sorry. See that little green bit there. Ooh. Okay, dead worm. See, I knew something's nibbling on that one. Oopsie. Now I lost a leaf. We throw it. Oh, sorry. We'll throw that in there. <laughs> it will grow. This aloe. This is aloe. What is your name? Juvena or something. It is Juvena. So it says FH, frost hardy. It is a very frost hardy plant and very fast growing. It's planted in a pretty pot and it's got spikes. So can you see those little spiky jaw? So I have to be careful or else I'm going to end up with more cuts on my hand. So my hand is just full of cuts from seeds and cactus <laughs> and all sorts of things this is my tradisima nom and val crested so this is now five years old and it's dying so it makes me think that 
succulents can't live forever. The only way they can live forever is if you keep propagating them. So say the central core of this is sort of dead, but all the other ones are still alive. And to think, when I bought this, I was only, I only started with just one smaller than that. So if you remove that bit there. So that's when I started, that's what I started with. This is one of my afterglow. My biggest afterglow is already in the garden. I just kept checking every night to see if someone would take it away because it's quite beautiful and it's in a big pot. Now this is sort of a quarter of the size and this one's okay so that got sort of damaged by the frost as well. You can see that's remnant pack marks uh, from the frost. But the other one that I have protected, I put, I just put that out here. Now this one here, I put in my protected zone. And look what happened to it. It just started going moldy. And so I sprayed it with my metho and she's still okay. So I believe that when they do go moldy, the surface of the skin, see like those ones there, it's like edema or it had too much water or although it's in a protected area it still gets splashed on by the rain so i don't know if it's got something to do with that so after being cold then too much rain go moldy and then once you spray it with the metho it kills the mold but it leaves all the marks on the skin so it can't be avoided i guess but the center is now growing and speaking of growing i'm going to show you my cante the bees again. I have so many bees and butterfly all flew away. So I got a couple of butterfly behind me. Now the bee, they're just everywhere again and I love it. So this cante is just waking up. So as the weather warms up, look at that. Oh, it was only a week ago when it was still cold and you're closed off. And last night I was wandering through here in the rain and I have to look at something. <laughs> And this thing, it just amazes me. It's just huge. Look, it's going big again. So now I'm going to pull out the pot and put that in the garden as well. Yes, I'm putting that out in the garden. So just hopefully no one steals it because I will be really, really upset. But doesn't matter. I got plenty of baby cantus now. So I'm not going to lose the plant. And these Pollux are just screaming, Echeveria Pollux. This is quite big. It's going to give the Kante a run for its money when size-wise. Because this one can go to about half a meter, like to here. This is my created magic red. So I put it next to the other one because they were the same color before this PVN here. And then this one that I made has kept its color but the farina came back so this goes to show that the farina do come back and I chop off the other one look what happened to it it's got a baby and the baby comes out as look at that magic red <laughs> that's it everyone's gonna go and spray the PVN with white oil Hira Hira now, after being exposed to the sun for a while, or half sun, because we hardly saw the sun these past few days. So, the color, look at that, they're gorgeous. So, I'll put you in the garden as well, because I got plenty of Hira, but this one, I'm going to take one big plant and keep it here, just as to keep as a mother plant, and the rest is going to go out, uh, outside. And also, I just noticed the seed pods of my lola this is my seed grown lola and well i did not grow the seed i bought it as a seed grown someone grew some seeds and sold it to me the plant itself now the flower or uh, the flower is ready it's ready mature i think the that's ready oh dried up so and it's just gonna get worse so these next two weeks i was looking at the forecast it's sort of intermittent so it's going to be in, uh, it's going to be on and off rain. 
and out of 14 days, there's 10 days of rain, and there's four days of overcast. But somewhere in the overcast, there's half a day of the sun coming out. And also that Sinesha there, little spearhead, I need to take that out there because that can survive the frost. And there is one plant in my arsenal that I have been so horrible with, and that is my black knight so there's they go black knight so there's three of them i haven't watered that i've neglected it i forgot about it so i just stuck it there because it kept getting attacked by mealybug so i threw it there thinking just die you bastard <laughs> that's supposed to say that die but it did not die and it has survived it's still there's still three heads so it's really really black as well so if you keep it somewhere in the shade black knight uh which is a chivalia phoenix basically it just goes all black and this coral aloe here is going in the garden now so you're gonna grow better actually than being here and this one my mamillaria this uh, is dangerous, so I'm gonna put this in the garden. <laughs> so, my new garden area, it was supposed to be all pretty and nice and soft and cushiony. There's still some cushiony parts, but there's gonna be a lot of dangerous parts. And my Strictiflora Nova is coloring up again. Look, got the dark edges. I love it. Such a slow growing plant, and it's blooming. Is blooming. Should I bring you inside? Because I brought the other one inside just to save the flowers so it doesn't get wet, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave you there naturally. There's a bee going around <laughs> pollinating all the stuff. And oh my goodness, look at you again, my Setosa de Minuta. Beautiful, the flowers. I love, love. I think of all the succulents, or oh, I men, Echeveria, I think the once I love the color of the flower I love the most is these things and also Dondo Dondo as well those two I just love their flowers yes which by the way was my Dondo the rain is starting again I better go inside oh this one look purple sedum sedum did you know that my first purple blob they call it purple blob here and there's another worm in here yep are you ah okay there did you go right in there? So, the first purple blob, and then, look, as a defense mechanism, the poor plant started sh uh, growing babies, okay, the leaves coming out. So anyway, oh, there's more. I have to inspect this more. There's a caterpillar all in there, little green worms going around. So anyway, did you know that the first purple blob I've got, I kept watering and watering and watering. This is back then when I didn't have a succulent garden. So I would say probably the first succulent I had was a purple blob or could be something else. Anyway, but anyway, the first purple blob I bought, I killed it. And then because I thought it needs more water and the more water I gave it, the more it died. And then I bought another one and I killed it again. But then now this one has been growing here every year for the last three years now on and off on and off so since I got it uh, it just dies in winter and then comes back again in spring so anyway guys that's all for now the rain starting I'm getting wet yes I've already my plant hole from the previous week thank you for those two kind person <laughs> who wrote that that's possibly a white one I have a white one it kind of looks similar to it. My white one is a bit bigger now. And Holy Gate, I've got a Holy Gate growing in the garden and I have to go and find it. And which sort of semi-confirmed that it is Holy Gate. And I have to wait till it grows a bit bigger. So anyway, guys, that one's just enjoying the rain. That's it for now and I'll see you on the next video. Why do I talk like that? I don't know why.